you can get ideas to help you grow your eco-conscious business. And today I'm joined by Francesca Cicchetti Presh. Have I said that right? Presh, yes. Presh. Absolutely. Hi. Uh, I did mean to ask you before we came on the show, just to make sure that I'm <laughs> pronouncing it right. Uh, so Francesca is from Barefoot Humans, and we're talking about connecting to our roots and walking our own path. So we'll, we'll find out more about this. So welcome, Francesca. It's so great Thank to you. Have great to, have you, to be here. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, so Francesca is passionate about being barefoot and using it as a metaphor to bring people close to their roots, resources and living close to nature. And obviously being the eco-conscious show, we love all things nature. And she uses the systemic constellations work and coaching to give people more clarity, guidance and wisdom. So straight into the questions, uh, where did the idea of barefoot humans come from? Yes, I know. It's a bit of a weird title, isn't it? Well, um, if you know me, you know that I'm barefoot all the time. I've just been like this from childhood. I love being barefoot. I love feeling the ground. It makes me more stable, um, connected. And so I use that in my work too, but also I call it emotionally barefoot. So basically, um, my theory is that we are all born barefoot. And then basically, we know how to walk through life from the start. But then you know society whatever makes us put shoes on that sometimes don't actually fit us and so we are kind of losing track and um, so how I see it in my work is that I help people to kind of take those shoes off that might not fit them so well and make their own footprints in life again it makes them stronger makes them more trusting themselves but I also see it like we're paving the way for kids to move forward and to make their own footprint. So it has the connotation of adults, but also the kids and standing on our ancestral ground. So if you picture sort of bare feet on the ground, that's how I see us standing on, on the ground of our ancestors as resources. Oh, I love that. And you talk about sort of um, using systemic constellations. Um, can you tell us a bit more about what this is and how this helps in your coaching work? Of course, yeah. So the systemic constellations were really coming from um, in, in, you know, the war trauma and stuff and what impact that still had on the next generations. And how I use it in my coaching, um, mostly online, is actually um, I look at sort of unresolved stuff that is still hidden in, in the way you live that might uh, hinder you to move forward. And um, we call it the hidden dynamics. And so a constellation makes a living map where you literally see your place in life where you are at right now from a from a different angle sort of from the top almost you know we're literally looking at that from the top you get a different perspective on your life you find where maybe traumas are or inherited patterns and um, that you still carry unresolved and that um, you're often not really aware of that you're still in it and mm -hmm. um, but we're also looking obviously at the resources because we're not just inheriting trauma from our ancestors but also resources so um, my clients always call it like when they see it things fall into place it's like their life makes suddenly sense mm -hmm. and there's an opening that they haven't seen before and you kind of find your you trust in yourself a lot more so it's kind of a real opening for more calmness more ease more clarity in your life and um, I think of it also as you know we're not just looking at sort of ancestral stuff around you but you are the ancestor of the next generations mm -hmm. so from that perspective how do you want to live your life what impact you want to have in life because it's your unique path that you're walking oh i love that that's a really good explanation because i i had to actually google it when we first chatted <laughs> quite a while back you know what what is it is it to do with the stars and astrology and it's like, yeah it's like no it's totally not um, to do with that but that that yeah. gives a really really good overview of that and i think it's quite important as well you know people are sort of really focusing on their purpose in life and the, the impact that they want, they want to make this exactly. is really important work yeah. Uh, so you help, you know, you help people give more clarity, guidance and wisdom. Um, you know, what is an example of some of the tools that you can help people achieve that or some tips you can give, you know, that people can walk their own path in life? Yeah, so um, I use a real combination of things because I come from a social work background, but also the life coaching, the systemic constellations. I, um, I'm a meditator for a long time. I'm a runner. So I kind of bring everything together. So from social work perspective, I think it's a lot about tools 
immediately, you know, where you, for example, as a parent, you're triggered by something that happens in your life, often to do also with our, your kids, crisis or whatever. And there are immediate breathing techniques, immediate grounding stuff that you can do to calm down um, the language that you can use, um, the structures in life. So these very practical tools, but also I combine it with more the sort of inner work that is longer lasting, sort of the meditation. I also record audios from my clients on a regular basis so they can take the meditation with them and use it in their daily life. Um, I do a lot of body check-ins because the, the traumas and the, the patterns that we're following are often held in the body. We can't always describe it with words, but if we check in with our body, we can feel it. And that's where we can really use it in our life. Um, I use a lot of um, the sort of thinking patterns that we use with limiting beliefs. We look into that. Um, I see myself really as holding space in my session. So you bring whatever is present in your life at that moment. And then I reflect back to you really what I hear, what I observe. Um, and together that's an exchange process really where things become clearer and clearer. And my, my experience is with people that there is a calmness that comes through. There's an inner strength that comes through and gradually more and more <clears throat> that comes out in their life too. So it's like you have a trigger, normally that would trigger you immediately off a response. Um, but actually there's a space suddenly opening in between where you can suddenly see, oh, okay, I've reacted like this, but actually what do I do now? And this is mm. really where the magic happens. So this is what I try to open really in my work. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. I think you can help so many people with that. Yeah, and it's beautiful. And I, I know we, we, we always ask people on the show, kind of what is your top eco lifestyle or business tip? Yeah, well, I think um, I thought about this quite a bit because there's so much actually. I'm, I'm very passionate about being in nature as often as I can and feeling that connection to it, obviously being barefoot also. But um, I would say, you know, like making time every day to be close to nature. I mean, we're all nature because of our bodies and we're, we're all earth, but actually making it consciously um, every day in your lifestyle and the food you eat and, and you know what impact you have on the world to really go out enjoy nature um but of course i come from the ancestral aspect so for me it's also about teaching kids actually to be close to nature because i think they're losing touch with nature so much being indoors so much mm -hmm. um, on the computer what have you and i think um the biggest impact we can have is on the next generations to really show them the benefits of being outdoors uh, living close to nature, taking care of her um, for future generations. Um, so go out with your kids, run, like walk, have fun outdoors, make them experience it. And they will carry that through. And I think if we can do that now and plant the seed. It will grow, you know, the next generations. So, yeah. Oh, I love that. You use such great metaphors. I love that sort of, you know, for plant <laughs> the seed, you. grow the future. Um, and I loved, you know, I did post uh, about this as well. And people were saying, um, one of the ladies, Lynn, was saying that yeah, every time she goes to hang a washing outside, she does it barefoot as well. Oh, wonderful. To keep, to keep grounded. And I think you're right. I mean, I used to run around as a kid barefoot all the time. And now mm. it's always like got shoes and socks on. And obviously the weather doesn't help. But yeah, yeah. it's made me. Sort but they're of sort of oh, very simple things, isn't it? It's like you'd be thinking so big, but it's like five minutes just walking on grass or something has a huge benefit. And I think um, kids allow themselves to do it much more, but we're so self conscious as adults. You know, we're like, oh, what will other people think of us? But actually, it's so good for you and it's like gives you such a sense of freedom and strength. It's amazing. I will definitely be doing that, I promise. Good. <laughs> Okay, so and I, I know uh, you, people can contact you at barefoothumans.com. You're also mm -hmm. on social media as Barefoot Humans. Uh, yeah. But you've got an offer, you a 30 minute consultation. So, uh, yeah, so um, everybody who contacts me gets like 30 minutes call free for, with me because I really believe that the, the right coach needs to fit with that person. So it's really checking in with each other. Is it right? Um, you can ask questions and then there's no obligation to do further work. But, you know, it gives you a bit of a space to explore further. So I really encourage you to just reach out if this resonates with you. Fantastic. And what's yeah. the best way for them to contact you? Do they go via the, the website? Yeah, website. I mean, the, the email, the general email is contact at barefoothumans.com. 
Um, most of my work is online. It works really exactly the same, which is wonderful. So um, I work with people from anywhere in the world, which I really love because, you know, that's the kind of whole global impact. And I really enjoy that. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, just fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'll share those to you to the email again so that people can get Great. in touch with you. Um, well, thank you so much for joining us on the show. It's been such thank a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. absolutely absolutely thank you so much oh and to all of our viewers if you're watching now or you're watching the replay keep your questions coming and do get in touch if you feel you know that's right for you to get in touch with Francesca to do the 30-minute consultation uh, do check out uh, her website she's got a landing page there at the moment but the website is is coming in progress out. <laughs> yeah. um, and busy on Facebook and that as well so a lot yeah. of information there and um, so we'll thank you for watching thank you for joining us thank and you. we'll see you same time next week thank you thank you